very, very warm welcome to the Autocar Awards 2019 presented by Reliance General Insurance in partnership with Times Network and in association with Apollo Tires. I cannot believe I'm standing here, you know, yet once again. This time just seems to fly by. I mean, it just seems like last year you were cracking jokes on me. Ah, that's going to continue. <laughs> <laughs> but this year has, I think, flown by because it's really been a busy year for the automotive industry. We've seen 39 new launches and 93 variants in the four-wheeler category and 74 new launches with 22 variants in the two-wheeler category. So as usual, this industry out here has kept us on our toes. The Autocar Awards, ladies and gentlemen, are the automotive equivalent of the Grammy Awards. They are rock solid, if you know what I mean. And for the car and bike manufacturers, if you win this one, you've made it. It's a measure of real success. There were 29 awards that went out at the Autocar Awards 2019, but here are some of the highlights. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the award for best design and styling. And to hand over the next two awards, we would like to invite India's best-known, renowned automotive historian and our Jora, Manvendra Singh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The award goes to Range Rover Villar. Congratulations! May we invite on stage Mr. Rohit Suri, President and Managing Director, Jaguar Land Rover India Limited and team to collect the award. This is the Variant of the Year Award. And the award goes to Ford Freestyle. Well, may we invite on stage Mr. Kapil Sharma, Head of Communications Ford India Private Limited, to receive the award. Now, moving from four wheels to two, may we invite on stage the lucky viewer, Atharva Kesundikar, whose voice was in sync with thousands of others for the viewer's choice bike of the year. And the winner is Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. May we invite on stage Siddharth Alal, CEO Royal Enfield and his team to receive the award. Let's stay with two wheels, ladies and gentlemen. We come to one of the hottest segments of the two-wheeler market, scooters. This year, the competition has been hot and all the contenders are in the premium 125cc space. This is the award for Scooter of the Year. And the scooter of the year is the TVS N Talk 125. Congratulations. May we invite on stage Mr. G. Venkatesh, Vice President, New Product Development, TVS Motor Company, and Team TVS to receive this award. We have a huge lineup of contenders for the Premium Bike of the Year Award. And may we call on stage jury member Vijay Singh, founder of Rajputana Customs, to give away the next two awards. Good evening, everyone. The premium bike of the year is the Harley Davidson Fat Boy. Congratulations. May we invite on stage Mr. Sajeev Rajashekharan, Managing Director, Harley Davidson India, to receive this award. Now, as the Indian motorcycle market shoots to new highs, international manufacturers too keep pushing the envelope forward. Every year, we witness remarkable developments taking place overseas. Many of these motorcycles arrive on our shores and instantly take the game forward by doing so. These bikes deserve an award of their own, so that's what brings us to our import bike of the year. And the import bike of the year is the Ducati Panigale V4. And I saw Vijay quietly smile to himself as he opened that envelope, so it's obviously something he voted on. Now, may we invite on stage Mr. Sergey Kanovas, Managing Director, Ducati India, and his team to accept the award. Mahindra bagged three of the big awards. This is the award for Viewer's Choice Car of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to invite our lucky viewer, Zishan Kazi, whose choice echoed the popular vote, to come and give away this award. Good evening, everyone. And the winner of the award is Mahindra Marazzo. Congratulations. May we invite on stage Dr. Pawan Goenka, Managing Director, Mr. Rajan Vadera, President Automotive Division, and the rest of team Mahindra and Mahindra to receive the award. Well done. Well, it means a lot to us uh, because uh, after all, uh, viewers are the one who are our customers and they are the ones who are going to buy the product. Uh, ultimately, our studio gets recognized, the design studio, and uh, what they think of a viewer four years hence. But that's the kind of time it takes, you know, 
for a car to uh, reach uh, the customers. So ability to forecast four years hence what is going to be the trends, etc. So it shows the level of maturity of our studio and of course the our engineers who convert the design into the product. So it means a lot to us. SUVs, ladies and gentlemen, are definitely the flavor and though they come in all sizes, this is the award for premium SUV of the year. May we have Mr. Mayur, Mr. Adarsh and Mr. Mumukshu Ajmera to come up. They are all directors of Ajmera Group. Good evening. Premium SUV of the year goes to the Mahindra Alturas G4. Mahindra Alturas G4, may we invite on stage once again Dr. Pavan Goenka, Managing Director. Mr. Rajan Vadera, President Automotive Division, Mahindra and Mahindra, and the rest of the team to receive this award. Well done, Team Mahindra. It's turning out to be a good evening. This is a product where we have tried to do a lot of things right. Uh, the design, pure SUV design, which you don't see very often these days because it's more of a, a days of cross, uh, crossovers. Uh, we have put in a lot of technology features uh, and a brand new platform uh, that you again don't see for a frame-based vehicle. Uh, and for Mahindra, it's really a matter of pride because this is our most premium product that we have ever launched uh, in the price point. And in fact, uh, perhaps the most premium product to wear, uh, to, to have an Indian brand. And therefore, we're very happy that that uh, product has been selected as premium SUV of the year. This is our engine of the year. To give away the top honors and final few awards, may we have back on stage Horma Sorabji, editor, Autocar India. And the engine of the year is the Mahindra 1.5 diesel. Congratulations once again. We'd like to call Dr. Pavan Goinka, managing director, Mr. Rajan Vadera, president, automotive division, and the rest of team Mahindra and Mahindra, who seem to be having a stellar evening here. Please come on stage, receive the award. Congratulations, Team Mahindra. That's an engine that is really refined. It packs in a punch as well. John Abraham, ladies and gentlemen. He calls his, his vehicles babies. When he starts talking about his bikes, he says babies. Yeah, so uh, Hormas, thank you for having me here. And uh, thank you, Autoka. And thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Autoka. Um, it's a pleasure being here. And um, without disrupting uh, the flow of this event, uh, I'm really honored and excited to be here because uh, I'm an avid Autocar reader and um, be it from my, uh, the last car I bought to one of the first ones that I got, I always pick up the phone on Hormuz, then I ask him, I say, Hormuz, in Gujarati, in my, in, because I'm half Parsi, I say, Hormuz, Lailu ke sukara sa veni saate. And he says, yeah, yeah, take this, but you do this, you do this. And he gives me a full critical review of the, the car before I go in. and. Uh, uh, it's absolutely wonderful being at a function uh, which I resonate with. I mean, I come from the film industry, but this is an area where I resonate more. So I'm really excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me and wish all of you uh, all the very best. And all the winners here, congratulations to, to all of you. Really happy to be here. Thanks Thank so you. much, Thank John. You. Thanks for being here <laughs> with you. us and we'll call you up in a little while again. It's time to move on to the rest of the awards for tonight, and we begin with the smallest of cars that occupy the biggest share of the pie. Hatchbacks. You know, like they say, Stuart Little conquered the world. <laughs> These are cars that the Indian consumers love and buy in big numbers. Well, they're definitely conquering our roads. Yep. Like they say, all good things come in small packages, and a good package is what the hatchback of the year has to be. And the hatchback of the year is the Hyundai Santro. May we, have, we on have on stage Mr. S.J. Ha, Executive Director, Sales and Marketing, Mr. Puneet Anand, Group Head Marketing, Mr. Ravi Sharma, Head Marketing, PR and Corporate Social Marketing, Hyundai Motor India Limited and the rest of the team to receive this award. Many congratulations. This is the award for the family sedan of the year. And may we invite on stage once again Mr. Anand Singhi, Chief Distribution Officer, Reliance General Insurance, to give away the award. Family sedan of the year goes to Honda Amaze. May we have on stage Mr. Raman Kumar Sharma, Director, Corporate Affairs, Honda Cars India, and the rest of his team. Sabha, please join us on stage to receive this award. May we call on stage Mr. Rajesh Dahiya, Group Head, Sales India, Sark Oceania, Apollo Tires, 
And Mr. Sandeep Mathur, head OEM and institutional business at Mir, apologize to come up on stage and give away the next two awards. And the first award is for Luxury Sedan of the Year. Luxury Sedan of the Year award goes to BMW 6 Series GT. BMW 6 Series GT. May we have on stage Mr. Hans Christian Bartels, Acting President, BMW Group India, and team to receive this award. Many, many congratulations. At one time, a luxury car buyer would balk at the very thought of an SUV for this very reason, considering an SUV is more about practicality than luxury. But lately, square has given way to sleek, and practicality comes with plush, so SUVs are in vogue here too. Luxury always comes at a price, but the compact luxury SUV makes it easier for those aiming higher to achieve their aspirations. The compact uh, luxury SUV of the year goes to the Volvo XC40. May we invite on stage Mr. Charles Front, Managing Director of Volvo Cars India and his team, Sudeep, I see you there in the crowd as well. Please come up on stage and receive this award. The mid-size luxury SUV does the job. Could we have Mr. Vijay Y. Kumar, Head Agency, Reliance General Insurance on stage to give away the award. Hi, good evening. And the award for mid-size luxury SUV of the year goes to one of my personal favorites, uh, BMW X3. Another one for BMW. May we invite on stage Mr. Hans Christian Bartels, Acting President, BMW Group India. This is the award for the luxury SUV of the year, and we'd like to invite one pampered individual, Shapur Kotwal, the Editor-in-Chief, Vodka India Magazine, to give away the next two awards. Well, it's the Porsche Cayenne, the luxury SUV of the year. May we invite on stage Mr. Pavan Shetty, Director Porsche India, and his team to receive this award. That certainly put a smile on Sharpul's face and many other jurors too. This is the award for Performance SUV of the Year. And the Performance SUV of the Year is the Lamborghini Urus. May we call on stage Mr. Sharad Agarwal, Head of India Operations, Automobile Lamborghini, to receive this award. A bunch of SUV awards later, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to shift back to two wheels. And this time, the focus is on speed and excitement. And John will enjoy this segment. Our Performance Bike of the Year Award. May we invite our Jura and Motorcycle Racing Champion, Rajni Krishnan, to present the next award. So Rajni has come and given us the envelope because he says he's a little mic shy. Suzuki GSX S750, that is the winner, guys. Congratulations! May we call on stage Mr. Satoshi Uchida, Managing Director of Suzuki Motorcycle India and Team, Team Suzuki Motorcycle India. Please come on stage and receive this award. Many, many congratulations. Suzuki is uh, traditionally very, very uh, well known about uh, performance and speed. So GSX-R750 is uh, really a uh, very nice bike for not only uh, performance, also uh, touring. Uh, relax riding also, yeah, almighty bike, so please enjoy our bikes. Well, while we are on performance, we move back from two wheels to four. This is the one that's all about, I love this, power. It's all about acceleration and speed. It's sheer brute force with which it delivers a driving experience. And this is the one that can be enjoyed by even the average driver, the performance car of the year. And to present this award, may we invite our special guest tonight, John Abraham. Please come up on stage to give away the award. Oh, the performance car of the year goes to the Mercedes AMG E63. Yes. May we call on stage Mr. Martin Schwenk, Managing Director and CEO Mercedes-Benz India Private Limited and his team. And finally, it was time for the top honours of the night. Adapting to the changing environment, forging ahead with plans for the future and managing still to stand out from the crowd. That's what it takes to win the Manufacturer of the Year Award and the nominees are... Manufacturer of the Year, Hyundai Motor India Limited, Mahindra and Mahindra Limited, Maruti Suzuki India Limited, Mercedes Benz India Private Limited, Tata Motors Limited. And the Manufacturer of the Year is Tata Motors. 
Congratulations, Tata Motors. May we have on stage Mr. Gunter Bucek, CEO and Managing Director, Mr. Mayank Parikh, President, uh, Passenger Vehicle Business Unit, and the team from Tata Motors to come and receive the award. For this year, we actually called the turnaround 2.0. After we started with domestic CV, we added this year the passenger vehicle to the scope and we actually brought the entire organization on its toes an extra, to walk the extra mile and to shift to a single-minded focus of execution. And I think this is uh, what has brought us uh, here tonight and what has finally, what has finally brought us uh, this award, a very prestigious award which makes this evening very special. And I must admit thank you to Autocar India giving us this award. Uh, and I have accepted it, happily accepted it on behalf of the entire team. A very special moment for Tata Motors. Our penultimate award for the evening, the Bike of the Year. Who is it going to be? Come on. Can we have you, some guesses? Do you think it's going to resonate with the voice of the viewer? Or do you think the jurors are going to pick an absolutely different one? I think the jurors are going to do their thing. Bike of the Year, Royal Enfield, Interceptor 650A. The Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. May we invite back on stage Siddhartha Lal, CEO Royal Enfield and team to receive this award. Fantastic. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. What a beauty. Big one. Oh, it feels brilliant. It feels absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we've been working on the Interceptor and the GT for four, five years now and it's, you know, we don't do too many things at Royal Enfield. We do very few motorcycles. We like to do them really well and, and I believe we've really put out something nice and that's what uh, the autocar team thinks and the jury thinks. So, we're really delighted about it. Maruti Suzuki bagged the value for money and the MPV of the year. But ultimately, it was the top honour that they took home. This is the biggest prize in the Indian automotive space. This is the one that's raised the bar in every area to give the customer what they want. Folks, this is our car of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, car of the year, Maruti Suzuki Ertiga. Woo! Maruti Suzuki Ertiga is the car of the year. May we invite back on stage Mr. Kenichi Ayukawa, Managing Director and CEO, Mr. R.S. Kalsi, Executive Director, Marketing Sales, Mr. C.V. Raman. Executive Director, Engineering, Maruti Suzuki India Limited. Wonderful. Team Maruti Suzuki India. Congratulations. Could we all ask you to come around the cars and then maybe just take a group photograph? Our people that the well know that the industry people know that uh, the first generation Ertiga we received that uh, award that uh, you know uh, M MPV of the year uh, to six six years back. After that we are starting it, uh, developing it, that uh, uh, new uh, model, and then this time we are receiving it uh, car of the year. That is uh, really appreciate that we are very honored that.